Wanna build mobile apps using JavaScript? You got React Native. Wanna build a front-end website? You got React. Wanna become a back-end sociopath? You got Node.js and Express. But the question is, why did we even learn to code? To solve problems, right? Well, today, we're going to build a desktop app that's guaranteed to get you big you know solve your problem because uh, you got no pain in this video you'll know what is electron how to use it how to get started and how to build this cool app so stick till the end and yeah subscribe increases your chances of getting big first what is electron electron is a javascript runtime framework that allows you to make desktop applications using html css and javascript but how does it work well it doesn't it's a blend of node.js and chromium so let me simplify that for you electron is a framework that makes desktop applications using web technology do you understand? Now, since I don't want to waste your time, I won't explain more about how it works. Now, what are the basics? Well, to get started, you need to open your project folder and get a package.json file. So, npm init dash y. Now, don't worry about the modification since it follows pretty much the same general structure as any other Node.js project. Now, the project should have an entry point which should be your main.js file. So, what does that mean? That means you gotta change the main in the package.json, you JavaScript sociopath. So, so it's gonna be like this main equals main.js now obviously this is not a built-in technology so install it using npm install dash dash save dash dev electron now to be able to run your app you need to add a script in the packet json so start equals electron space dot now if you try to run it you'll see a fat ass error just create a file called main.js and follow me first import the framework note that i can't use the import statement here because this is pure node.js then get the app and the browser window for from it. And we also need a path and a URL for later. Now to create the window, you have to say that when the app is on and the status is ready, return this function which is gonna contain everything. Now we made sure that everything's working, create the window which goes like this, const win equals new browser window. And the browser window takes an object which contains the width and the height of the screen. Now to attach an HTML file to it so you can display some content, you need to access the window we just created and then just go with the built-in loot file function and pass in the HTML file. Now what this does is basically starts the app and creates a browser window to render HTML as well as the app's main process. It is responsible for the integration and interaction with the operating system GUI, which is graphical user interface. I can't believe you don't know that. You can use any JavaScript library like Angular, React, jQuery, etc. for the renderer process. Now before we continue, let's be clear if you use jQuery. Now if you start the application again, you'll see a blank app and that's because we don't have any HTML HTML and CSS. So let's create some. Create the index.html file. After that, let's add an h1 tag to see if this shit is working or not. Run the app and boom, you have a fully functional HTML page in the form of a desktop app. But this is so f static like it's not functional when it comes to any other interactive desktop app and we didn't even write any javascript for the functionality yet so to do that we need to use the preload script a preload script runs before the renderer process is loaded and has access to both renderer globals example window and document and a node.js environment to do that create a preload.js file then go to your main.js and within your window add something called web preferences its value should be an object that takes the preload and gives it a value which is your preload.js file. So path.join dire name preload.js. And now you've attached the preload script to your app. It's time to create our application so that you can get some pictures. Let's go to the HTML file and attach a CSS file to it. Now create your CSS file and add some general styling to it. Now go to your HTML file and add one h4 tag which contains the question and two answers. Only one right question. No cheating, guys. Give each button an ID or a class name. I don't really give a shit. Link the preload file using script tag. Now head off to your preload file and add the following functionality. Call the buttons using the DOM manipulation. Now for the right answer, add the following. When you click on it, make an alert that says you got big once you click on the right answer, it shows the alert. Pretty easy and simple. Now get ready, you lazy programmer. This is not a static project. This shit is about to get real. Go to rapidabi.com, make an API called the Crush Detector API, and add your personal data to my SQL so you can send it to your match automatically. Then create a machine learning Python project and set up MXNet machine learning framework so you can automate the task. And install OpenCV, which will give your computer a vision so it can detect your face automatically and show it to your next girlfriend. Now you pretty much have a clone of your face which will get you b without you suffer. Now the only thing that is left is to get a pillow and start dreaming of getting b you lonely f